What's up, YouTube? This is Life for Red Duelist, and today we got a World Chalice World Legacy deck profile. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> By uh, uh, Jared over here. By the whole team of Life for Red Duelist, honestly. Oh, yeah, true. We, we gotta be a little quiet, because it's fucking one in the morning and my mom is asleep in the next room. I don't want to wake her up. <laughs> she's, she's hard enough. She wakes up at 4.20 in the morning. I'm not lying. So let's, let's just get this deck started. Let's get it over awesome. with. Awesome. Side note, this is my first mat I ever won. Yeah, fuck you though. Who cares? <laughs> so we're going to start with the normal monsters. We got three copies of Beckoned, three Chosen, three Crowned, and then three Mythical Shine Ball. Y'all already know. It's the best, man. You already know. There's nothing, nothing really to say about normal monsters. They do the job. Now we play one Gofu, he's garbage. He's so bad in this deck. You never see him, and then when you do, he bricks. Because it's three turns after you could have set up. Three copies of World Legacy World Chalice, because it's the only play opener in the entire deck. Honestly. <laughs> honest. <laughs> I wish. I wish this deck had an honest. <laughs> one rabbit, because we can't be fucked to have more than one in this fucking game. Three copies of Venus for those three shine balls. You know how we do. You know how we do. Then we move on to Maxi. There we go. Play three copies of Holy, the Little Chalice Fairy. The, the best searcher in the deck, because it's the only searcher in the deck. Even though every card fucking floats. Like two ridiculous lengths. Then we round off the monsters with two copies of World Chalice Guard Dragon. How's that buyout trading, you guys? <laughs> it was pretty good. But save your fucking money. These cards will be like a dollar in like a month. Honestly. Honest. <laughs> Again. <laughs> fuck. I wish. All right. So onto the spells. I'm kind of powering through this, but uh, we got a we got a special treat after this. A combo discovered and created by yours truly here. So hopefully that'll extend our time a little bit. I don't care. I don't really care about making that revenue right now. It's one in the morning. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Long day full of pluses. So we're gonna move on to spells now. So we got one Foolish Burial. Look at those fucking acceleration plays. We got one Mind Control. Because Mark's an asshole. One Red Geki. Because Board Wipes win games. One Soul Charge. Because it wins games. And you play two Swing of Memories because you play all these fucking old monsters and you don't know what to do with them. Two Trains Modify to get Lee into Venus. But the card is honestly kind of bricky. If you can find better cards to put in your fucking deck, I would do that over this. <clears throat> Two unexpected die to start your plays with fucking normal monsters because one normal monster starts your whole fucking deck and that's all you fucking need. Uh, you could probably run this at three and it would be much better because you want to see it as much as possible. At least in the first turn. After that, it's kind of fucked. Two World Legacy's Heart. That adds back your World Chalice Monsters in your graveyard. Uh, it's just an all-around good card. I would run it at three. I don't know why it's at two in here. Probably just because of deck space. Mm. But, you know. And you play one E-Telly because uh, Fuckboy here is a Psychic. Psychic level three. So basically everything in this deck is just, hey, how fast can I get out a fucking normal monster? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> And then our last card here is one trap. We put one heavy storm duster. I might bump it up. Might bump it up to two. I wouldn't do three. Yeah. Not unless you're playing artifact. Shout out to Dason. All right, now we move on to this dank old extra deck right here. Hell yeah. Waiting for that proxy dragon. Mm-hmm. Proxy dragon. We're waiting on multiple firewall dragons that we're <laughs> never going to get. Just wait for the reprints dog. It'll be a year, but we're going to get him. Uh, shout out to Mark's. Two tokens oh, yeah. that he wanted in the video, but didn't put in for some fucking reason. Yeah, tokens for Gofu. Yeah. yeah. He's never going to summon those. <laughs> so we got one guy a Saber. Uh, he's just a big body for right now. That's all you really need. Uh, three copies of Ningisu. You really only need two. You really only need one. I say two is the most optimal. Three is really inefficient. Honestly, it, it would be a firewall dragon, but you know, you can really only go into one of them in a game, maybe two if you're lucky. Three copies of Orum. I see a lot of builds playing this card at one. I don't understand why. You want him out there as much as possible because he recycles any card in your fucking graveyard for basically free. 
True. It's it's so ridiculous. The lowest I could see him run at is two. You play three copies of Ib. A lot of builds I see play two Ib and a Proxy Dragon. Unfortunately for the combo we have, you need all three Ibs. And so that will be that, in this video. Yeah, I already said that, Mark. Oh. Fuck. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, you can. there's other cards you can take out for Proxy. Proxy is definitely a good card to put in here. But the combos that we could think of need three Ib because you need World Chalices. Then you got two copies of Link Spider. Just because it's your other normal monster outer, you just fuck him up. You know, he just does what you need instantly. Monster. This is so good. You just you just summon him for an increase. That's all you use him for. And then you round out with three Induk, the World Chalice Dragon. What, what, what does this card do, Mark? Let you, uh, you know, get a free normal summon. Let you get a free normal summon. And a special summon. Too. And a special summon. They all do that. When they leave the field, they'll let you special summon from hand. Um, two, I'm going to count this real quick. Uh, you want to start talking about shit? Also, I only got this deck because it was just there. And I was like, why not? I thought it was more than 15 cards. I thought we were about to look like fools on the internet. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, there we go. There's our deck build. Yeah, Mark built this deck because he thought it looked cool. Yeah. Even though weeks and weeks and weeks of me telling him, hey, it's a pretty cool deck, it's pretty good, he didn't care until he saw someone playing it at McDonald's, and then he was like, mm hmm I like that. It's because he got smoked. Oh, my. Fuck you. And then Ningrisu is pretty cool looking. It's pretty hot. But, all right, guys, uh, we'll be showing you the little combo we have here right now. All right, guys, and right now we're going to be showing you the plus three combo with the uh, you need the Chalice guy, Unexpected Die, and Venus. It's a three him. card combo, but it's it's really simple. It's so simple that I had to write down notes. Okay, so let's just get this started. <laughs> so first, you activate Unexpected Die, and you summon out any of the normal monsters. It doesn't matter which one. I tend to choose Beckon. I don't know why. I just do. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. Fucking looking at your phone all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> it already went to like step six. Alright, and then you use beckoned to go into a copy of Mduck. Use the extra normal summon you get off of Mduck to tribute it for World Chalice World Legacy. Now, if you had like more World Chalice cards in hand, you could do different plays here. You like summon shit out. Uh, we're just doing it with these three cards. So you get a three card draw three. And with typically five cards. So now you use your normal summon to summon Venus. And you use Venus all three times to summon out three shine balls. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, what do we do next here? So you use these two to make a copy of Ib. Now the world, uh, Legacy World Chalice will go off. And you will summon out two old Chalice monsters from your deck. Make sure their zones are like this. You summon Lee and a different normal monster than the one you summoned off of Unexpected Die. Sorry guys for that glare, but that's where they go. It's not necessary to summon a different normal monster, but it definitely does help. That Later in the game, I've seen that it helps. Because cards typically are like, haha, I need to do two different World Chalice monsters. Alright, so then you use the Ib and the Lee. Or, fuck. I'm sorry. Missed a step. Lee will search for Guard Dragon. There we go. Now we're back on track. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know how we do it, Slife for Red Duelist. Ooh, one in the morning. Alright. Now you go Ib and Lee. You're treating Ib as a one monster instead of two. Into Aurum. And use Ib's effect when it left the field to summon the guard dragon from your hand. Now you use one of your fucking shitty meme cards in your hand. Discard it. And you add back... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Lee that somehow ended up on the <laughs> bottom of the graveyard. All right. Fuck. God damn it, Mark. Okay, now you use Orum's effect to beat the guard dragon. To summon back... Let me make sure this is legal. 
Yeah. Take one other monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you summon back the Yep. Now you use these two, your normal monster and one of the Shine Balls. Preferably the one that's over here. Because positioning fucking really matters now. Yeah, you know. Column Yep. So right now you still have two cards in hand. You're going to use your Guard Dragon's effect. Summon back out one of your normal monsters to a linked zone. It'll be this fucking zone. I think it has to summon in defense, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. Because now you use these two to make your third Ib. And you use the Shine Ball to make either Imduk or Link Spider. The choice is up to you. We're going to use Link Spider because that's how I plan this out. And then you use your two Link monsters. To make a link three, bring in Grace Seal. One, two, three. And you draw three cards. Damn, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> yeah, that's about it, guys. What you do know? we end up with? Fucking garbage. But we discarded foolish. <laughs> you know how we do Slifer Red Duelists out. Basically, 1.30 in the morning. Hell yeah, it was Test playing. That's 1.06. Don't lie to people. <laughs> but, alright guys, this is a World Chalice video. You know, deck profile. Um, it will be updated once new stuff comes out and Proxy Dragon. That's actually legal. Mm -hmm. But, until then, this would be Slife of Red Duelist signing out. Please, like and subscribe. <laughs>